Christmas begins with Christ, and Jesus Christ is the very definition of love. Sing with me as we prepare to light uh, the third candle of the Advent wreath this morning. <clears throat> Let there be love shared among us. May there be love. As we light the third Advent candle of the Christmas season from the Christ candle, our focus is on Jesus in the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew 1.23, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The name Emmanuel appears twice in the Hebrew scriptures and once in the New Testament. In Greek, it is rendered Emmanuel, one of the most comforting of all names and titles of Jesus. It is literally translated, with us is God, or as Matthew's gospel puts it, God with us. It is interesting that in light of this fact that we still find ways to divide us instead of uniting us. It is an age-old question. Do we focus on what sets us apart or what holds us together? According to Matthew, it is Emmanuel, God with us. Matthew and the new Christian community thought of themselves at first as part of Judaism, not separate from it. There is a distinguishing feature in the gospel, according to Matthew. It is the word, the Greek word, ekklesia, which means a group called out. According to Matthew, the church is an earthly manifestation of the kingdom of God, and it is comprised of Jesus' followers who have been called out to live righteously in the world and to serve in the manner of the Christ with deep humility and unfathomable forgiveness. In Jesus, there is a new community at work for the blessing of the world. What is it that binds us together? Jesus. Look around at each other. Together, we are part of the church. Remember, this is the next time, remember this, the next time any of you feel discouraged, abandoned, or too timid to undertake some new endeavor. For Jesus, Jesus is, is still, still Emmanuel. Emmanuel. He, he is, is still God, God with, with us. us. 